Why doesn't a three-phase motor need a neutral? If you've worked with three-phase motors, you've probably noticed that they don't have a neutral connection. Unlike residential or commercial wiring, where neutral is essential, three-phase motors operate just fine without it. Let's break down why. In a three-phase system, the three-phase voltages are 120 degrees out of phase. Mathematically, the sum of the instantaneous currents in a balanced system is always zero. Since there's no residual current that needs a return path, a neutral isn't necessary. This is the fundamental reason why three-phase loads, especially motors, don't require a neutral connection. Three-phase motors are typically wired in either Y or delta configurations. Delta connection. The windings are connected end-to-end, -end, forming a closed loop, so there's no neutral point at all. Each phase only sees the line-to-line -line voltage. Y connection. There is a neutral point, but in industrial motor applications, it's rarely used. The motor windings still receive a balanced three-phase supply, making the neutral unnecessary. In both cases, phase voltages and currents remain balanced, eliminating the need for return path via neutral. Y neutral is used in other applications. In single-phase systems, neutral is necessary because the load is connected between phase and neutral, and the return current needs a path back to the transformer. In a three-phase system, neutral is mainly used for unbalanced loads, such as mixed single-phase equipment in buildings. But for motors where all three phases are symmetrically loaded, neutral has no role. Balanced system, no return current, so no neutral needed. Delta connection, no neutral point exists. Y connection, neutral is available but unnecessary for motors. Neutral is for unbalanced loads, not for balanced three-phase loads like motors. That's why three-phase motors don't have or need a neutral connection. If you work with motors, understanding this principle helps in troubleshooting and system design. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. And if you found this useful, share it with your fellow engineers and electricians.